את... A coalition in crisis, again, this time over a controversial bill aimed at banning gay conversion therapy in Israel. The legislation promoted by the left-wing Meretz party leader Nitan Horowitz would revoke the license of psychologists who use conversion therapy, find them, and send them to jail if the offense is repeated. This is a dramatic day in Parliament, a day in which for the first time in years, maybe for the first time ever, Parliament votes in favor of the LGBT community. The dramatic vote early Wednesday afternoon saw the Blue and White Party, led by alternate Prime Minister Benny Guns defy coalition discipline and support the bill. We have promised and we have delivered. Conversion therapies were born in sin, and their place is outside public norms and the law in the state of Israel. Every person, but really every person, was born in the image of God. We'll allow every person to live his way of life as he chooses, as he believes, as he feels. Public Security Minister Amir Ohana from Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party, who is himself gay, also broke ranks to support the bill. No less than 13 other Likud party legislators who were in parliament at the time decided to simply not show up. But the ultra-Orthodox parties in the coalition opposed the bill, reacted with fury to the coalition defections, even going so far as to taunt Gantz that he will never become prime minister. Lawmakers from the ultra-Orthodox Shas party abandoned the plenum right after the vote and declared they will not participate in any votes until further notice. Their colleagues from the United Torah Judaism party said they're halting any further cooperation with the Blue and White party effective immediately. Top officials in the party also pointed fingers at Netanyahu for the lack of coalition cohesion. Blue and white are cracking the coalition and leading Israel to the election. Gantz, you are directing Israel to the elections. This is impudence and boldness, contrary to coalition agreements. The third consecutive election campaign in Israel concluded with a mix and match of the so-called traditional blocs in the opposition and the coalition, creating somewhat peculiar political alliances. Wednesday's vote was yet another indication of the instability across the spectrum, and the next election season appears to be inevitable.